What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to talk about the next big game from Board and Dice and it's called Nucleum. It is a game by uh, David Turzi and Simone Luciani. Luciani? I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly. And uh, you know that uh, if you are on this channel for some time now, you know how much I like David Turzi. So I was definitely going to check this one out and uh, see what it's all about. So yeah, without further ado, let's start unboxing it. And uh, in the process of unboxing, I'm going to tell you what I like about this game. So first of all, you get this uh, sheet of challenges, which is, I think, really fun. Uh, even though we didn't feel it, I think we, we didn't even hit any of these achievements. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice thing to have in a, in a game, like if you want to go for certain achievements and stuff, that's really cool. Uh, you get the rulebook, of course, and you get the entire small rulebook just for the solo play. And uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit afraid if I need to like uh, learn entire new little small rulebook just to know how to play the game solo, I really kind of don't want to do it. So from the regular stuff, uh, you get a lots of coins in different denominations. You get a lot of uh, these contracts that you're going to be fulfilling throughout the game and these contracts are really valuable. This is what I think brought me victory in one of the game and you will get some prestige points now these prestige points you will collect uh, through the game and uh, yet every time you do this recharge action you are going to basically uh, however many achievement points you have you're going to discard it and uh, that's how far up you will put your star and then score some end game scoring those tiles are these one over here and uh, there's more than a few of them so each game will be a little bit different what you want to go for and score it so the, all of these components are oh sorry these components are all for solo and uh, as i said i haven't played the game solo yet so uh, i don't know much about this but i guess these cards represent what the automa is doing so to say uh, you will also get these nucleum tokens and stuff let me just move all the player components aside i'm going to show them to you a little bit later and let's go to the big stuff first. Now, what you get in this game is enormously huge board. So you have this big board with lots of cities on it and you are trying to connect. Okay, so this is a board for three and four players. And as you can see, it is huge. I can't even fit it on the entire camera. So yeah, uh, basically in this game, you are trying to connect these cities with these railroads. I, I will show you how you do this in a second. It is something that I absolutely love in this game. I'm just loving how, how this is done, the connections and what you need to do. But yeah, there are some symbols, of course, uh, as I mentioned, uh, lots of people uh, say that it's similar to brass and it is in a sense that some buildings can only be built on certain places and some places have like open spots that you can build any type of building and then some spots have double uh, so you can choose either this one or this one stuff like that and uh, throughout the game you will be slowly building the network and you will use each other players network to deliver uh, the uranium from nucleum and stuff like that and uh, from all that board there's one big board aside it so it this game is a huge table hall it's a huge huge table hall so you will get also this board over here which basically uh, as i started to mention when you do the recharge action when you take all your actions back and all that all your tiles it's going to be clear in a second uh, then you will put your star on one of these spacing depending how many of these prestige tokens you got these star tokens and uh, if you even hit 40 over here you will get extra nine points and you can unlock some special abilities or score at the end for some extra points. Some actions will be here. Some contracts that you are going to fulfill are going to be here. And uh, also some stars are going to be here that you will be putting uh, on the board over here when you recharge. And once you over here, you just track uh, the five different ways to end the game. And depending on how many players is playing, for example, if you are playing in a four player game, you only need to uh, trigger two end game scorings and then everyone will finish the round and play one more round and the game will be done so you are going to keep those flags over here and then just over here it tells you what are the ways to trigger the end game itself now each player will get one of the boards and one of these special things that go aside and each of these are different as you can see they are a b c and d 
and all of them correspond to a certain uh, type of tiles that are tailored to do different things. So, but before I show you this, uh, this is the main board. So on this board here, you will track your income. There's three different things. You are going to collect uh, coins, you're going to collect workers and just straight up victory points. And you will have some buildings over here that you are going to put on the main board. Over, over here, you will have some turbines that will help you deliver the uranium to the buildings so to, you, to power them up. This is the main thing of the game, to power up these buildings so they provide you with a lot of points. Over here you will have some mines that you can store your uranium in. And basically you will take, uh, all of these are the same, but these are the different for each player. And you will just keep them like this and have those tiles on the side over here. And I just absolutely love how that is done. I'm just gonna show you tiles for one player. So this is, I think, uh, A. I just put them with the color, but basically they don't go with the color. So you can be red color and play A. So basically these tiles, uh, as you can see some of them, so these tiles, you will be keeping them. Let me just show you quickly how you're gonna store them. So they are going to be over here in a certain order. They go in a certain order, I will not just sort them now. There's really no point. So as they are kept over here, and as you uh, research technologies, so there's three levels and you're going to try and uh, figure those out how they work and uh, you're going to move this once you are done you're going to move it like this now you researched it some of them are single like a uh, one-time ability some of them give you constant stuff so for example every time i recharge for this one i will get one worker or i can buy a new action tile with minus two points and this is where the beauty of the game comes in this is what i really like about the game so you get these starting action points action tiles so to say so these action tiles have actions on them and you can do one or both actions on these tiles and on the other side they are railroads. So when you put them on the board, as I told you just in a, in a few minutes ago, you will put these on a board in a different spaces to connect cities and that is when you permanently get rid of it. So you need to be very careful. I did mistake, I got rid too fast of some tiles that were really valuable to me and later in the game I have had a hard time to acquire some more because you can, this is just the starting tiles for each of the players but uh, throughout the game you can get a bunch more tiles with all kinds of sorts of different actions and they have corresponding colors on them because the colors matter if you connect them to the city you will be able to activate them one last time before they are flipped over and they become the railroad and once uh, you connect the cities uh, you will also, uh, your workers will uh, activate them one more time and stuff like that so this game is basically there's like so much going on but it's really not complicated and that's what I love about it now we kind of did have to go to the rule book a few times but it's just because some of the stuff were written not in the best way to be honest but still we managed to figure it out watching some videos online you know uh, searching on BGG for answers and uh, when we got uh, our story straight so to say we understood everything and uh, yeah the game really opens up as you play it uh, as you are constantly building up uh, the game really sprawls nicely and you are uh, at first you put uh, you you acquire just few stars before the first recharge and the uh, second recharge and the third recharge you already are hitting 20 something points which is really awesome that just says that the game really progresses nicely it eases you in slowly into the gameplay and then just ramps up uh, in a, like a steady normal flow and that's something I really really loved about it now uh, I will mention it one more time I mentioned it already like three times but lots of lots of people compare it to brass and I have brass I have actually both of them somewhere over here behind me and I really enjoy brass I love it but I kind of love this one more, not because it's David Turtsy, not, not because anything, but it just works better. The main thing is brass, in brass when you put some mines, other people can take your coal, which is actually good because your building will activate, score your points, but at the same time, you really want to score points yourself, you know? You really need that coal for yourself, not the points, you really need coal for yourself. And uh, over here, uh, that player interaction is limited, so you can only have access to your resources. So you are depending on yourself how you are going to accumulate those resources. The coal is combined, all players use coal, but all the, all the mines with uranium are yours to spend and they're really valuable. The uranium doesn't come easily to this game. Uh, once you build the mine, once you get all the uranium, 
you, you have to be you can get uranium by by placing some some uh, some of these uh, uh, contracts on your board and you can get some but you have to be very careful i kind of like uh, two or three times even took some where, where i couldn't place them anywhere and i wasted them which was actually a pretty bad decision because the uranium is very valuable you have to be really careful about it but yeah overall the game just works phenomenally i just simply love it and, and it looks complex it is complex in a sense that that's lots of things are going on and you have to constantly think think about all these uh, special actions that you have all of them that uh, uh, do something for you now you have to remember each time i recharge i need to do this oh i have a plus uh, some i have some extra energy once you build those turbines oh i have i haven't even show you the turbines they're really cool looking turbines check this out they are really nicely looking thick components and these are just regular workers and some stars nothing special to show and of course we have some buildings for each player they are practically i think the same they are not different but uh yeah everything else is kind of a little bit different as i said each player starts with different abilities they are tailored to do different stuff so i absolutely enjoy nucleum I think this game will stay in my collection for a very, very long time. So much so that I'm even now considering maybe getting rid of the brass. Because I think I would like, if I want to play brass or this one, I would probably go more toward this one. Just because the satisfaction of, of chaining all these actions and, and uh, these little tiles that you are playing, chaining all the colors to get some extra boost from them, to get extra action from them. Is something I really really enjoy and it's like a little puzzle that you are trying to solve so yeah that is all I have to say about it check out Nucleum I think it's a wonderful wonderful great game I can't I can't give it any more praise that I did so yeah thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for spending time with me and uh, until next time Pozdrav.